Hello friends. In this video, we are going to look at uh, JavaScript function. In the last two video, we looked at the JavaScript function only. But this time, we see how the function return values to its caller. We will also see how to get numeric input from text field. So here, ultimately, we are going to present two text field user will type input numbers in those two text field then we will present a button that will add those two number and outputs the value i mean the ordered number value will be uh, presented in a h3 element function with return value that's what we are going to see here We know that JavaScript is a typeless uh, scripting language. So we can return any value from a function. The keyword to return a value is return, just like other uh, programming language. And the function signature, we no need to mention the return type because uh, the scripting language here is uh, typeless. In this tutorial, we will take two numbers from a HTML input field and add those numbers and add those numbers using a JavaScript function. The function will return the added value. Here, if you see, we have a outer skeleton of a HTML. In the body, first we type a uh, header text for this example then we present two input field so enter number one and enter number two are just a label given to those two uh, input field so we just type it as a normal text after that we have two input field so the first input field we gave the id as number one for the second input field we gave the id as number two here if you see we are using the value attribute so when the text box is rendered in your browser the text boxes will contain a default value the first text box will have a value five and the second text box will have the value two next we have a button and the button label is add when we click the button, it will produce on click event and the on click event is equal to add numbers JavaScript function. So the H3 is the element to output the result. ID is H3 out. This time we are using a style attribute and we specified color as brown. So the output will come in a brown color in the browser. So once we defined the body, we uh, just opened a scripting tag inside our uh, header part of the HTML document. So in the bottom, you are seeing the reference for the input uh, controls. There are two text boxes and one button. Now inside the JavaScript, we are going to refer these two numbers. So first we had written a function called get sum that takes two parameter. So I'm saying two parameter here. I'm not saying two integer parameter because it is a typeless. So it takes two parameter, then adds the content of those two parameter, then returns the added content to the caller. So here you are seeing the keyword return. So this is how you can return a value to the caller. There are two things you can note here. So the function get sum doesn't specify any return type. 
there is no void or there is no integer no string no type is specified before the function then how do we know that this function returns some value by looking at the body we can say that the function returns something or because it contains the keyword return the second point what you should note here is the parameters are typeless so whatever you pass here will get added so if it is a string then the content will be appended so if it is an integer then the content will be added so the runtime javascript uh, execution environment decide what to do at runtime based on the content inside the memory pointed by these two naming association number 1 and number 2 those are all parameter here and if you look at the bottom the on click event is who could to add numbers function now we will write that add numbers function first we declared a variable called result then we get the element from those two input field text field you can look at here we use get element by id and we refer the id now so here we are referring the two numbers and we are retrieving the value from it and we are storing it in number 1 and number 2 variable next we are making call to result equal to get sum get sum is the function which is defined at the very first line in the javascript enclosure in the javascript code so we are passing number 1 and number 2 as parameter what happens here the value retrieved from those text box will be in string form so when we are passing number 1 and number 2 here we are actually uh, here we are actually sending the strings to the get sum method so the get sum method will append those content so the appended content is stored in result and we are assigning that result to the uh, h3 element so the result 52 will appear in brown color but uh, this is not what we want to see right so we want to see the numbers get added 5 plus 2 equal to 7 so 7 is the result we need but what we get here is 52 why because these two are string and they get appended so here inside what we have to do we have to make use of the javascript function parseint because we know that since the contents are in string format that's why the result is printed as 52 so after taking those uh, content from the input input text we are converting that from string to integer the parseint is a javascript function for that we are passing the string then the parseint will convert that string into integer then we are storing that integer in number 1 and number 2 here you are seeing how the typeless variables are behaving look at the line for example number 1 equal to parseint of number 1 so the variable location number 1 is a string so we are making call to parseint and we are passing the number 1 so the parameter number 1 is a string there the document dot get element by id number 1 dot value will retrieve the uh, content as a string that is stored in number 1 here if you see the variable number 1 is a storing string then we are passing that uh, number 1 to parseint function the parseint function will convert that uh, string into number so the converted number is stored in number 1 so if you look at here the same variable number 1 is storing string at some part of this code 
and after the percent the same number one is storing the integer so that's why we say that in javascript the variables are typeless all right now when we call get sum what we pass to the get sum is number so num1 is number and num2 is also a number so once we get inside the get sum the parameters are number this time so the number one is containing a integer value 5 and number two is containing the integer value 2 when they both are added uh, we get a result of 7 and that is returned to the caller so the caller here is the add numbers so the get sum returns the returned value is stored in result the result will now contains the added value of 7 so that result we are assigning it to the inner html so here h3 out is the h3 tag to h3 tag we are assigning the text attribute text value of uh, uh, 7 now let us go to demo so here is the html file which uses the javascript so to quickly go through it this is our body content body tank body content is having two input field type is text default value is 5 and 2 at runtime user can change these default values id is number one and number two then we have one more input field button values add so this is this will appear as a caption to the button then we are making use of the on click event and hooking that to add numbers so when user clicks the button the add numbers function get called so we will land here in add numbers we retrieve the content of these two text fields these two text fields we will get here number one as number two number one will be string five number two will be string two parsing percent will convert this string into numbers now num1 is 5 integer value num2 is a 2 integer value we are making call to get some and we are passing these two integers number 1 and number 2 we come here we add 5 plus 2 the 5 plus 2 added result is 7 that is returned to the caller the caller is the add numbers because we are calling get some so the returned value is stored in a result and result will now contain 7 next we make use of the h3 element and inner html we are assigning the result 7 all right now we will execute this so if you see here enter number one this is just a text we kept here after typing this content we are actually having a input field that's how you are seeing a text input field here similarly we are seeing one more text input field both the text contains a default value because we specified this default using the value attributes now if i click add you will get the result as a 7 so result is 16. so the key part here is the function which is returning a value so a function can return any value because it is a type plus here we no need to specify any return type why because it's a type plus so the only way to know that a function is returning something is the body by looking at the body you can say the function is returning some value that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye